Well, right now, as you can see, I have the FT Opti Force. It's uh, like 8.5 8 degree loft. The shaft, as you can see, is the same one that I've been playing for, for a while already. Yeah? I'm struggling to find out that shaft too. It's tipped, obviously. And what I like about this, this club is it's set up very neutral. For neutral, I would say to almost strong and weak. I like to see the ball shaping left to right most of the time. It's a relative new. But it's one of the clubs that first shot that I hit was already good. Was one of those clubs that I said, mm, I like. The look is nice, the setup is good. So I just need to hit to see how the ball is flying. And the ball was flying good, very good. So this is why I put it straight to the, to the back. And right now I have a five boot and um, it depends on the golf course setup. I will play with five boot to iron, three boot, five boot without two iron. So it's the same, the, the razor fit, extreme as you can see. Well, the three wood should be, I will say 260 meters. Approx and the five wood should be 240, long 240s, almost 250. There is not a big gap between three wood and five wood, uh, but, it, but it's a proper gap between three wood and uh, driver okay. because I don't like to have the, the typical strong three woods that you know they can't come out too hot. Yeah. Most of the times, if I need the three wood from a tee, it's just to put it on the fairway. I don't need distance, so I need more control kind of on that way. Yeah. Well, as you can see now, I have this set of irons. I used to play with the prototype. Um, but at the beginning of this year I tried these new heads. The ball doesn't come out higher and technically with a little bit of cavity I'm going to have a little bit more forgiveness and that was, a, that was a kind of something that I was looking for. Okay. A little bit more forgiveness. I have the same set of irons from the two to the wedge. They are quite old. Um, I'm in the process of changing between these ones and the Mac Daddy too which is a wedge that I like a lot and the spin that I receive that I have with them is nicer. So right now for the moment I'm with this one but I'm in the process to change to the Mac okay. Daddy. How often in a season would you change a wedge? I mean, uh, I'm a little bit stubborn for that. I mean, the Callaway guys told me that I, ha I should try to change every single three months maximum. But once that I like a club, I don't like to change it. But in the wedge I have to change it more often. I should change it more often. And in fact, I'm going to try to change it every single two and a half, three months. Okay. Yeah, maximum. This is the one that I have right now. The Bersa, black, white, black. It's a very classic cut, as you can see. The shape of the plot is very classic. Uh, I like to paint it normally with the Spanish flags and these kind of things. And I was trying this pad this week. It's a little bit heavier in the head for practicing and to see how, how it works, how it behaves. Uh, but it's just a try, it's nothing really serious yet.